Hi, it's Ms. McKenzie, your K-12 district teacher librarian, and this quick recording is just showing you how to create your watercolor makerspace square that Mrs. Flossie is going to use to create a brand new design on the front entrance of the library. So teachers, you should have gotten a clump of white squares in your mailbox, and your students will need a white crayon or really any color is fine. And then some kind of watercolor source. So let me know if you need some watercolors, I'll help you out. But really you're just going to create some kind of design in white. I'm gonna just go for some waves. Um, you might ask students to write what they're grateful for. Okay. A little challenging when you're writing in white crayon. And then when your students feel like they have decorated their squares, you just add some watercolor on top. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Hey, I just wanna share. This is one of my favorite artist supplies. It is a water brush. So the, you fill the base with water and that allows you to do art on the go. And then I always have peerless watercolors on me. Usually I make a little tiny pockets palette. But if you look at the back side of these, that's what the color actually looks like. So there's the front side that you tap your brush into. There's the actual color on the back. Why don't I try using some of that one? That one's pretty. Okay. So yeah, then you just watercolor on top of whatever you wrote. Okay, so there's, ooh, there we go. Crayon resist awesomeness. Family, let me grab it actually real quick. Okay, again, no right or wrong. Let me try to find some blues and greens. Okay, let me try this color, it's really pretty. Okay, ooh, there are my waves that I drew. I don't think I have anything on the top here. Okay, no right or wrong. So again, you can draw fun designs. You can simply write what you are grateful for. And um, you can pop all of your squares back in my mailbox or Mrs. Flossie, doesn't matter. And uh, we will collect them all and get that display created. And we'll probably keep it up for quite some time because why not? And as we're talking about it, I'm thinking that using the front entrance of the library might be a really nice way to showcase all of the really cool things that we're doing for makerspace kits every single week. All right, reach out if you have any questions. Thank you, bye.